welcome everyone to another one of my Blender tutorials. I haven't done one in a while. So uh, I've been trying to find something kind of new, something fresh to cover. And uh, I know if, uh, if any of you there might watch television once in a while, I watch it. Deal. But uh, you see these cop videos and uh, some of these uh, videos where people are being interviewed and they want to remain anonymous. Well, you know, they have their face blurred out in a lot of those videos. So what I'm going to do here is I look around on the YouTube, and uh, when I searched for the term blurring faces in Blender, I couldn't find much until I found out that the actual term was rotoscoping. <coughs> so once I found out that I some rotoscoping, I did find a few, but nobody really covered how to blur a face. I mean, uh, uh, in, in Blender. And, I've got the uh, latest stable release of Blender 2.71 here. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, let's see, uh, oh shucks, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's 2.71, latest one. I haven't got the latest build. This is the latest stable build of 2.71 C4. So anyway, <clears throat> what I want to do is uh, show you how to uh, blur out a face, and I went through it several times. And I finally found a real simple, good technique. Uh, you can use motion tracking if you like, but this one here is not going to have any motion tracking in it. Let me turn off my passive map. And uh, we're going to do that. So let's get started. <coughs> and I've already got a little video clip I prepared for this uh, demonstration. So we go down here and we're going to go to the movie clip editor. And we're going to load our, mo our movie clip, which I've already got together ahead of time. <coughs> and uh, this is a friend of mine's. Uh, I video captured this from a uh, public hangout, but uh, he, you know, he had such a good, uh, really, really good video HDR. And I didn't know I was going to do the video at the time. I said, "Well, hey, you mind if I use, you know, your movie clip and show your face?" He said, "Sure, it's okay with me." So what we're going to do? We're going to pretend here, uh, just for DS. We're just going to pretend that. Uh, He's testifying against a member of the mob, and we're making a short movie, and we're going to do a little, uh, he's going to have a small part in it. He says, man, could you blur out my face, because I don't want to be identified. Uh, I don't want to have to worry about wearing concrete overshoes and walking down the bottom of the river. So could you please blur my face out? So we're going to do that. So to start with, I've got the movie clip editor on, and we're going to start with the mask. And so you go down here to where it says tracking, and you go to mask. And you just say new, we're going to call this uh, DS face. So, all right. Now this is one of the newer features. I guess it came along with the uh, these nodes, or what they call uh, a line singularly, what you want to call them. Well, anyway, this is how they work. You hold down the control button on your keyboard, and you just drag out, and you get this little thing with a handle on it. What's important here is to go counterclockwise because if you do these clockwise, these little handles, they wind up on the inside and they're harder to manipulate. So we're going to keep it real simple here. We're not going to get real elaborate. We're going to put another node here and drag it out like so. And another one up here like so. And, uh, you, can, uh, you can actually uh, mask out around his ears and all that, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep you short and simple. So to close this, you hit Alt C, and that closes it. That's uh, called a cyclic. So anyway, uh, we're gonna also turn on our auto key framing to make it a little easier. And uh, you know, I think uh, if you go Shift uh, left arrow, that will take you back to the first frame. That's where we're at right down here. You can see down the corner. We're going to. Uh, Stretch this out a little bit, and uh, you know what? Perhaps we'll add in a couple more here. So you can control, drag, click, and I'll put one there, and uh, another one here. Pull it out a little bit, and another one here, and another one here. That should cover us, all right? We're going to get down here around this chin. Make sure we get his whole face. Right. So we got an auto keyframing on, and we made a little adjustment here. 
Uh, this is another feature of these handles. If you select A, I'll hit A, and grab any one of these points and hold down Shift, you can get some feathering. So, that's uh, frame number one. Now we're just going to uh, shift up arrow. This will take us up 10 frames. And yeah, it looks like it's okay there. There, there, there. So, we got it nice and big. Oop, it shifts over a little bit. So you might want to go in here and put a cursor in there. And maybe, uh, oop, select all. G, move it over a little bit. Make sure it covers the space. And then we're going to shift up arrow 10. And maybe we want to <coughs> move around that a little bit there. And as you can see, the little yellow marks is the automatic keyframes. And uh, we'll shift up arrow that takes us another 10. And uh, we'll move it over. Make sure it covers the space. We'll go on through here. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Uh, There's a setting over here. I can't know. Put it. Put it settings. And uh, anyway, this has 350 frames. 351. 350 frames. And there is a. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. Okay. Oh, okay, it's here. I think it's uh, well. I can't find it right now. But uh, what we can do here, uh, we can just go ahead and add it. There's a feature over here that says uh, match uh, match the uh, movie length. Can't seem to find it. Thought I thought I knew where that was at. I don't see it. Right off the top of my hand. Okay, it's, I think it's set scene frames here. So I got a prefetching. <coughs> okay, it's that same frames. Oh. Okay, so it's set to 350 now, yeah. So we got uh, 351, starting with frame 1. Alright, we'll go back to what we were doing here. To our mask. And I believe we've got enough here to get started. We could use tracking, but uh, I'm not going to make it that complicated. And it looks like, oh, okay, let's back up here. His head moved a little bit, so we're going to, gee, we're just going to move it. And I believe that's, uh, toward the end here, we'll move it down a little bit more. So we've got everything automatically keyframed. Well, we might want to move it there a little bit. So you can tweak this around, make sure the space is pretty much covered. It shifts a little bit there. Let's see. So we're going to call this good for demonstration purposes. Okay. <clears throat> so we got our mask named here, and also here. I don't know if it's been refreshed, but uh, anyway, so we'll, we'll go on to the next important part. <laughs> There's a couple other things you can do here to see your mask, but uh, oh, you can go to your overlay, and there it is. So there's your overlay. <clears throat> anyway, next thing we're going to do is go to the compositor, and we have to reload the movie here. We don't need the uh, camera perspective. We'll go back and uh, reload our movie here. And let's 
Pacific, and we'll view that mass we made. And of course, uh, you got your timeline way over here now, but shift uh, left arrow takes back to frame one. And up here, we're going to use our nodes. We don't need to render layers because we're not using a camera view. But we're going to add the input. We're going to add a movie clip. <coughs> and of course, open it. Here. And uh, we're going to add a is it control. Control shift click. There you go. Viewer. Add our viewer node. And have our backdrop. And to our composite node. Alright, so we're going to add a mix node. Right here. And now we're going to add our mask. Right here. <coughs> we're going to put the uh, mask in the FAC. And uh, let's see how we did this. In here. Now, <coughs> let's see if I can. Uh, just trust me on this. <coughs> well, actually, we can do it this way. Now, all right. <coughs> so what you want to do, you want to blur his face out. So we're going to add a blur filter there. And I found out the uh, quickest way to do this is use the fast Gaussian. <clears throat> okay. Let's see the other one. Oh man. I got something wrong here. I believe it's the uh, top. That's not right either. Damn it. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, I haven't got the mask open. That would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, you can see that, okay, the mask isn't working. So what we'll do, we'll just put an invert node in here. <coughs> now, now, now it's working. So we got this, uh, the fast goes in is the best way to do that. I've tried some of the other filters and they are just really slow. They take forever to render. So we're gonna we're gonna pump this up to 30. And uh, since we got our feather here, as you can uh, see down here in the uh, 
if we display the uh, display the mask here we display it see it's got that already that really nice soft blue around it so it's reflected up here in the compositor and if we scrub through our timeline See his face is really just blurred all the way out. So uh, once you get that all done, of course uh, I'm not going to make you wait and sit through the render, but you can uh, you can select your output. Now I didn't have any sound with this, so I selected H.264. <coughs> and as long as you got your composite node hooked up you should be good to go. So let's do a little quick uh, preview here. And uh, we're going to do this as oh. we're going to uh, we'll just give it a new name. Doug's board to demo. And it shouldn't take too long. Let's see. We'll go back to our first frame. Shift left arrow. And we got H6. We don't have any audio on this. So we're not going to worry about that. But with fast goes in, it goes pretty quick. As you can see. <coughs> His face is blurred out. And that would probably take, I don't know. It says... It might do it pretty quick, but I, I'm done. Well, well, it's going pretty quick, so that's it for this tutorial. And I uh, hope you had fun uh, checking this out. And uh, I was glad to come here and uh, show you exactly how to do it. I mean, uh, to do one or the actually blow the faces out. So uh, I'm going to stop this uh, head escape. And uh, thanks for watching my video, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. All right.